Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Will Told Tarot. This is your weekly reading from the 4th to the 10th of March 2019 for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Aquarius. Here are the cards. We have the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Magician, the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Wands and the Strength card. I've also pulled an angel answer card, and that is, the situation will improve. Beautiful. And <clears throat> this is a spirit message card. Um, it seems to have come up in a couple of readings, actually, in the weeklies this week. Synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. Beautiful energy. And with that, I'm going to go to the magician because this has been a transformative time for you. This could have been in the last few Days, weeks, months, some of you even years that you've been transforming. Um, and there was a need to transform, whether it was your choice or it was brought upon you. Change needed to happen. The magician's energy, his right hand reaches to the heavens, his left hand to the earth, Aquarius. The tools on the table are the earthly tools that he has at his disposal. Um, earth, air, fire and water with the cups, the pentacles, the swords and the wand. <clears throat> so he can manifest, he can blend, he can create magic from the earth, the elements. But he also needs that spark of inspiration from the universe, the God, the divine, whatever it means to you. By doing this kind of like um, stance, his arms are open, he's ready to receive as well as he's ready to... Um, engage in transformation, create, creation of magic in his life, changing things for the better. Where does it start? It starts from within. And this stance basically tells us that we're connected to the universe, magic is around us, um, but we're also created by the creator, the universe, God, the divine, again, whatever it means to you. And that magic exists within us. And at this point in the journey, this is the realisation that you have that magic, that transform transformative energy within you, as well as around you. And that's the magic. That's the beauty. It's the realisation from within that you have the power to change your circumstances for the better. It is about believing. So, the situation will improve. And I kind of think if you really believe it and also if you also trust that you are being guided and uh, this is not a journey that you're taking on your own. Now I'm going to move to the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords, this is, I mean, some cards came out here. I've, I've clarified a couple of the cards, Temperance, the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Cups. That makes sense. This is um, Seven of Swords, can be about deception in your life, can be about um, maybe having gone through a deception, lack of truth with somebody, um, could have been somebody that you had a connection with, uh, Aquarius, uh, could be it at work, could be it at home, could be in relationships, um, friendships, wider family. This is kind of getting past the point where you were deeply hurt by this, you were let down. And, yeah, I'm just kind of feeling that also maybe it kind of hindered your ability to trust. Trust yourself, trust your judgment, trust the universe. Um, in order to move on, maybe it kept you stuck for a period of time. I'm saying that because we've got the temperance card here. This is about truth truth being reconciled within you and um, this um, the two cups uh, uh, the water it is the water of life being poured from one cup to another talking about the ebb and flow of life 
how emotions can change in the blink of an eye and it is kind of being adaptable reconciling those differences within us and also in our external world arguments disagreements let downs by people reconciling how we've been hurt but also appreciating the truth and understanding the lesson and by blending that kind of like unique lesson that unique formula within us um, we enable ourselves to move on and release this is the path forward you see um, so it is very much um, a card of reconciliation, acceptance, um, also finding, beginning to find that perfect ingredients for life that you want. Everybody's desires for their life, what they want in life, how they want to achieve, how they want to grow and expand as people in all aspects. Um, everybody has a unique formula and this is about getting that right mix, that right blend of ingredients now in your life um, that will make you happy and sustain that happiness and um, security success whatever it is long term so it's beautiful and i think there is there has been a period of acceptance um, because that's only when transformation can begin the the eight of pentacles you're focused i think you've been focused i think you got past the point of being thrown off guard you got past the point of not being able to see things clearly. There could have been some self-sabotage involved in the past. Self-sabotage of the mind, um, emotions running high. But now, I think for some of you, the, the message is to focus, be practical. Do what you're good at and just get your head down and move forward. It may well take a while. It may well have felt like you've been doing this for a long, long time, just persevering. But keep going. Keep going. Because, I mean, the King of Cups is a sign of success. But you see, I think, again, you see this transformation. It's beautiful energy. The Magician, the card of transformation. You have been absolutely um, emerging as a butterfly for a long time now, Aquarius. This is the troubles. The emotions um, are represented by the water. The waves crash against the throne. But the king here remain, remains resolute. It's saying that you've learned lessons of the past, you've grown as a person, you've grown emotionally. You've learned how to keep your emotions in check. You've learned the lessons that you needed to learn, maybe in love. And um, for some of you, it is a cup's energy. And this could also be somebody who's been helping you. But you see, it doesn't matter what's thrown at you now. Because you've learned those lessons, you know how to deal with those situations again. And that's, what's, that what's make, that's what makes you strong, courageous, formidable. Um, and this also talks about self-love, finding self-love again, finding the inner stability, and you're able to project it on your external world. It doesn't matter how chaotic it is in your external world. If you have that inner solidity, that inner emotional core, um, Nothing can phase you. So I think you're, you're, you're accepting what's happened in the past and moving forward. And I think it's taken a lot of courage. Remember when I spoke about my, the mind, not being able to put things into perspective, Aquarius? This is very much the energy. The lion, classically, can mean the mind, and the maiden is you. Male or female, doesn't matter. And it's how our demons, emotions memories of the past, things that we think about negatively that can hurt us, even when we think about them. It could have happened months ago, even years ago. And this is about getting mastery over that, mastery over those thoughts, mastery of one's thoughts. Because can you imagine if you actually get mastery over how you allow people to affect you, how you allow the past to affect you, how you're beginning to control what you allow yourself to think about? only positive thoughts that's how you conquer your demons and this is the card that's the real strength the strength is from within but I think you've also shown courage and maybe um, there's been some courage some dealing with whoever's actually let you down if there has been a person could have been somebody who let you down in the past as well um, 
this can be self-sabotage and this could be conquering that self-sabotage as well. Um, but yeah, as I say, there's a couple of meanings to that, but it's, you're coming through it now, Aquarius. Um, and this is beautiful. This is opportunity. As soon as you start feeling more stable, opportunity presents itself. This is also accepting that, yeah, positive things are happening. This is about taking action in your life. This is about messages, connections, um, positive things, positive ways, opportunities to move forward and grow now are happening. They're coming through thick and fast. This is fast moving energy. Um, so when we talk about the situation will improve, it could be very quickly, but this is universally guided. This is universally guided. This is absolutely universally guided as well. Um, so yeah, beautiful energy, opportunity, potential, connections, communication, something coming into your life to really propel you forward. And again, continue that transformation. And here, this is beautiful. I love these three cards, right? I've got the clarifier, which is the Ace of Pentacles, but look at this, right? Look at how these cards work together. So we have the nine of nine of wands, um, the wounded warrior. Nine of wands is where somebody's persevering to get to a ten, a completion. And what do we have? We have a ten here. And they're pushing forward and pushing forward, even though it's been tired, even though the journey's been hard, even though it's been one hell of a battle. They're coming through it. And this is the point where they kind of say, can I go on? I don't know if I can go on. I'm so tired. I'm so fed up. I've had enough. I just want to give up. I want to throw the towel in. This is that kind of like the 11th hour card. But you see, success is within your grasp. Real success, this is earthly success, is within your grasp. It's within your reach. So the message is, keep going because you're nearly there. This is a 10. This can talk about money coming into your life, financial security, absolutely. Um, but it does also talk about what real wealth is. Real wealth is, yes, financial security, having a good home, protecting your family. But also, you see these people here, this is generations of people. Um, and this is mimicked by the tree of life, which is shown in the shape of these um, pentacles. Um, which is what is basically the structure that the tarot is based based upon. And it's kind of saying that real wealth is about being having that rounded wealth, friendships, appreciating family, as well as financial wealth. And when you appreciate that lesson, and maybe that's maybe part of the transformation, appreciating the bigger lesson here, that's when you have real wealth and abundance in your life. Um, so, yeah, it's beautiful. The person who wants for nothing else. And we have the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. A new beginning. The door opens to new horizons. Beautiful. And, again, this is a Pentacles energy. Again, it can be about good news coming. This can be a good news card. Um, a positive omen. This is also where the aces are very much where we're connected to, to the divine energy as well. So the hand of God, the hand of the divine, hand of the universe, whatever it means to you. Um, bring in abundance into your life. Real happiness, real prosperity. Um, after a hard won, hard fought battle and journey. But you're closer than you think, Aquarius. So, yeah, it's not the time to give up. It's not the time to be weary. It's the time to fight on. And I kind of think that's what you're doing. This is the Knight of Swords. Um, eyes on the prize, moving forward, fast-paced energy now. Um, something may well come in quickly. This could be um, a change, uh, could be an offer, something that might well be coming in quickly for you. Um, things may well release quick, more quicker than you think. Um, because there is this synchronicity. I, do, I am looking at these cards. There is this synchronicity synchronicity I can't talk um 
that's happening here at the moment. And I kind of think that this is all about divine guidance. Things are happening when they're meant to. And you might be surprised if you keep pushing forward that success unravels a lot quicker than you think. Um, so it is within your grasp. It is within your reach, Aquarius. So uh, keep going. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.